You hear the screeching of an owl You hear the wind begin to howl You know there's zombies on the prowl And it's terror time again They've got you running through the night It's terror time again And you just might die of fright It's a terrifying time Well Shit, it's time to go deal with some army officers again. And I thought I got away from those shitheads when I got out of the army. Wait, wrong West Point? That West Point's located in New York? Huh, that explains their pompous attitude and the fact they don't know jack shit. Well, today we're gonna dive into West Point, the largest city in the map, and check out some of the local hotspots and locales all around this river town. But before I start, I'd like to ask you to support the content with a like, comment either about the video, or give me some music experiences with Zomboid and West Point, and subscribe for more content like this and more. Now let's explore West Point, see what makes it one of the most dangerous parts of the map. Located to the west of town, the lake houses and cabin are a very valuable resource. Some of my longest living characters have taken this over as a base. Actually, my current stream character is going on over two months, with three large spacious houses to choose from. As well as a small cabin to the south, this place holds a lot of value. First is the fact that the house themselves can spawn quite a boon of loot. Second is the fact that you're on top of a lake. This is a practically unlimited source of fish and water. If you build a piping system to pump water from rain collector bales to a downstairs sink, you can have an unlimited supply of clean water with only a couple extra steps, as the rain collector bales piping to the sink will filter the water. Not to mention the fact that the lake has a large abundance of fish even in the winter. And there's also the river, just slightly to the north as well. Three is the fact that the houses are surrounded by woodland, making this also a fertile area for foraging. You could forage for a chip stone and a tree branch, sharpen the tree branch using a chip stone, and use the spear to fish. There is also plenty of land to make farms here as well. Using the back roads leading out of here, you can sneak past West Point and make it to the rather isolated gas station, car lot, and Spiffo Burger. This will provide an unlimited supply of gasoline for your car and generator as long as you remember to not let the fuel get too low. This is my absolute favorite base point in West Point and it's pretty hard to decide between it and the farmhouse by mole draw overall. And speaking of that gas station... Located just south of West Point is a gas station that is surrounded by a Spiffo Burger, a used car lot, and a clothing store, making the possibility of both a remote base slash outpost or a valuable place to restock fuel for your generator and car and pick up some valuable goodies along the way. This place has been keeping me alive quite well on the stream character due to the gasoline I'm able to come here and take. And honestly, I would consider making it into an outpost as well. The furthest house in West Point that's still within the town limits. I've had many a run where I've had to flee the town and seek refuge here in this small home right on the edge. There's a few homes nearby, as well as some hardware loot points as well, but there isn't that much actually special about this place. But its remote nature allows a player a place they can catch their breath and gather their plans for how to handle things going forward. This is often my last stop before I leave town as well. A nice little two-story bar located on the northeastern edge of town. This is a popular base point, and the fact it has a gun shop right beside it is a bonus, and it's also near a very common spawn point. 
that being the hotel and the construction site. But this place can be quite dangerous as this area is right by the heart of West Point. It's right by the main street, which is where all the local hordes congregate. But hey, if the worst case does come to pass, you can always flee to the north and cross into Valley Station. A rather sparsely populated part of the map, well, outside of the extremely lucrative but dangerous shopping mall, if you want to recreate a Dawn of the Dead, maybe head there. Much like within Rosewood, many of the businesses located on the main street of West Point have upstairs apartments. I remember many of my older build characters liked living in the Spiffelberger apartment for some reason, likely because of its close location to everything else. But not being directly connected to those buildings meant it was easier to keep the horde just from knocking down one door or two to get to me. There's also quite a lot of value on this main street, from a hardware store, a hotel, a gigamart, which holds a ton of groceries, a smaller grocery store, cafes, restaurants, and more. There is so many businesses in this part of town that if you can clear it out, you can be set for weeks or maybe even months if you're lucky. But like every other part of town, it is filled with the undead. I'm talking potentially hundreds of undead, maybe even more on the higher settings. You better be equipped to city clear if you want to take this part of town. And hey, hopefully my video will help you on that one. An unassuming farmhouse located on the western edge of town. It's not quite far enough away to be completely safe, but it's not quite in town itself. It does have a nice tool shed which can provide some pieces of kit, as well as the house itself. Keep in mind though, there is no fridge here, so if you want to preserve your food, you're best off to load a fridge into a car before you head here. It's not a bad choice, but it's not the greatest either. The school located in the western half of town can be a treasure trove. Between a well-stocked cafeteria kitchen, a large library filled with books, maintenance closets filled with tools, tons of lockers that can spawn good quality bags, a water cooler that can hold a large amount of water, a gym which can have some nice melee weapons, amongst other things. Yeah, this is a great place to raid, but keep in mind that a lot of the former students are hungry and ready to chow down on any intruders, and there's a lot of blind spots that make it easy to get ambushed here, especially in the dark. This neighborhood located nearby to the school and made up almost entirely of nice two-story homes with garages can be a treasure trove of almost anything you can think of. The large amount of garages makes it almost guaranteed to find at least a hammer, a saw, and many other basic tools you'll need to conduct the different skills. And given West Point is a fishing town, there's often an abundance of fishing supplies, which you will want to procure so you can have a good solid source of food into the late game. You could possibly base here as well, but I'd recommend against that at least till after the helicopter event, unless you want the entirety of West Point trying to break its way into your home. Another gas station, which West Point definitely has an abundance of due to its large size. This one is of note, however, because it's located beside a burger joint, a warehouse, and a storage center that only has two entrances. The storage center in particular can make an excellent base due to it being almost entirely surrounded by high fences. As long as you can replace the low fences in the area now that the card trick no longer works, you have yourself a little bit of shelter in the storm. And the fact that this center area also has a good distribution of random loot. I hope you've enjoyed our wayward journey within West Point. A 
dangerous town, but with plenty of reward for those who have the gall to strike out and take what they desire. Now you should have a good idea for both some base points and some loot areas, as well as some of the more dangerous spots. Please, if you don't mind, support the content. It's very much appreciated. This has been Core, and I'll see you in the next video.